Hi everyone and welcome back to Healing the Past with Araminta and myself. We're going to be going through, in this video, the first steps that we should take or even the first one we should take. So Araminta, what is that first step we can take? Okay, so for me the first step is to really pause and build some personal juice because in order to be able to get present with any pain from the past, we're going to need to build our personal willpower, build up some courage, and really get curious. Because when the going gets tough, it's this step that's going to give you the juice to keep going. So what that really looks like for me, I'm going to give you some tips. Really take the ones that most resonate for you. And before you dive into any of the other tools, Make sure you set this foundation piece as deeply as you can. It'll serve you well. So my first tip is to really ask yourself your belief in your own power. And the more we can own a statement, something like, I have the power in this moment to reinvent myself. That even though I may have learnt a pattern of suffering in the past, from the past, that means that I can just as likely relearn and learn new patterns of joy. And a way that we can, we can build support for that belief is go out in the world and look around and, and, and get some reading material. There are, there's been so many incredible human beings on this planet who have overcome you know, mind-boggling challenges in their life and have gone on to thrive and to be free of... Um, hatred in their hearts and so we're not reading their stories in order to go you know to suffer even more and to go I'm so pathetic I can't do it but everybody else can but we're, we're reading these materials in order to build a belief that it is possible okay so that's one way we can um, gain energy build energy for our belief that if they can do it so can I it's part of the human potential Mm -hmm. And then some people really identify with this sort of um, warrior of the heart, warrior of self-love archetype. And if you're someone that is moved more in this way, it may be some part of you that wants to call in that archetype, that you're embodying that. So when the going gets tough on the journey, that we have this touchstone place. Yeah. So that's one suggestion. We're going to be talking a little bit later about some of the new neuroscience that's coming out in quantum physics. And the piece I want to give to you right now is mind over matter. That instead of this cause and effect that we're all hostages to our past, um, the new science is really validating that by ch we have access and we have the ability to change our, our inner reality and therefore liberate ourselves from past experiences. So hopefully I'm going to be giving you some data um, and some more resources that um, you can also go out and study to build sort of factual, scientifically proven evidence that this is true. That you have the capacity within your being to overcome anything that may have happened in your past. So as we build courage, it's like we're, we're calling in a sort of superhero side of ourselves. This is a part of ourselves that's maybe larger than our current sense of who we are. Um, NLP, um, what I want to suggest is if you're someone that likes ritual, um, you can make this quite an elaborate piece. You can stop the module now and create an affirmation, so a sentence to yourself. And in Tantra, we talk a lot about breath, sound, and movement. So even if you're not a ritual person, my invitation to you now is pick one hand gesture. So maybe it's putting those fingers together. Anything, something simple. It could just be a hand on your heart. And taking your breath in, and whether you say something inside um, just into your inner world or actually speak it out loud but my invitation is to say something like I believe in myself or I love myself completely or I have the ability to um, to integrate and heal anything from my past 
pick one sentence that feels good for you and um, one physical gesture and use your breath and that's going to be a, a touchstone place that you can come back to at any time in your journey. It's going to remind you of your commitment, your dedication and your capacity to stay on this path. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Um, thank you for all that information, Araminta. Um, yeah, this courage is a huge piece to go forward. I've had to use it on my journey and when I've been in serious pain, um, reliving trauma from this life and even past lives, which we may talk about in, in other videos. Like, So there's a lot of courage that you need and we can also gain courage from the community that we're building at this university. We're all here to support each other one and we can build our community courage which will help us individually as we build it together so we're in this together and we'll see you on the next video